for that front two up there, the defensive tackles. Bennett, here's where he's dangerous. He keeps it, and he gets in for a Hornet touchdown. That's what he's known for. He, he his legs. He's moved the ball down the field. You see Bennett right there following that line into the... Late calling there by Bobby Frescas and the Hornets. Get one more point on the board. So it's in. Quick slant, off target, good coverage downfield for Sacramento State. And that's Dylan Janelle, who had series two for the Hornets and Caden Bennett in the offense. Scored on the first one. And they find the speedster, Carlos Hill, as he's got enough kind of precautionary reasons for having him out today. Bennett, pocket holds up, deep strike, knocked away. Nice play defensively. Trips right, locking in left. Back shoulder throw. And incomplete. Good work on the sideline. There's Jan this progress that they've been on rolling. Ezra Malini, Maleni, excuse me, runs left. It's four. Rushing touchdown. Now he looks to throw. Pocket holds. And he improvises. And the speedster gets a first down. The uh, pocket alive. And then Bennett's at all the take for 38 to score a week ago. A design keeper for Bennett. He rolls inside the 30 to the 27. Is you? Mm -hmm. Jason. It's Parker Clayton's first catch. He's a veteran receiver of this Hornet program. Played at Folsom High School. He brings in American Kyle Sinkowski. Campos the snapper. Ball looks like it's pushed a bit right. But it curves through. Uses the angle. It's kind of like second and 10. Dump off over the middle, caught in stride. They find Elder, but Hornets have such great speed. Caleb Nelson, and this offense is rolling. They're going to try Elijah Tau Tolliver off left side. And Tau Tolliver. So Bennett pulls the trigger. Nice jumping catch made. Jumping in front of that, bringing it at the 40. And Bennett had a lot of confidence that he was going to be in the correct spot, and he was. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage, and Tal Tolliver from the left side hash mark to the near side. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Here's Bennett over the middle, drag route. That's Coleman Kuntz again, filling in nicely for All-American Marshall Martin. So traffic lights in front of him. Bennett, nice jump cut there by Fulcher. Backs his way inside the red zone to the 18-yard line. Bennett follows his blocking, keeps it, makes it down inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Coach Fresk is with the linemen were pulling it. For Bennett, who's been the only one in a QB in this game. Bennett looks, there's an end zone shot, and it is brought in, and that catch for the Hornets. They now lead 16 to nothing. For that catch, you're gonna see him look at him just stop there. Position board for the Hornets. First touchdown grab of the year for Chris Miller, and the extra point is good. Well, Stephen is made eighth in your teammate. Bennett's got that. He's got a good thing going. Up to 21. They've got a nice lead early. Deep ball. Big strike. Looking for Elder. Broken up by Dylan Janelle. That was great. Really love this technique and how he teaches each other men. Calls him the Sharks back there. Here's the first big play for the Lions on a little misdirection from the. Here's a third down. Trying to convert, looking downfield. Coverage is great again by Dylan Janelle. That's Paris, 16, 127 in the score. He's got some runners to hand the ball to, like that one. Marcus Fulcher at the offensive line. Gains eight on his nine. Rolling out. Here's Bennett on the move. There's Coleman Kuntz again into Lions territory. Out of bounds. Bennett just rolling. Bennett now on a design keeper. If he gets to the outside, look out. There goes Bennett. Ten, five, touchdown Hornets. Got the ball, followed his blockers, went down the side. Did we say he was fat? Rank Hornets. Extra point. That's true. And the Hornets feeling good in this. Parrish looks to improvise. And good second effort. Looks like he's right at the sticks. And they're going to try some trickery. A little end around here. And they got some room to run, turning it upfield into the Hornet side of the field. And a nice play. Learning from a week ago, now Parrish will keep it himself. And he'll give himself up with a slide. Mather tackled him at the same time. 
They'll spot him back at the 38. For the visiting Lions, Parrish fires. Caught. Oh, no, maybe he didn't get it. If it is caught, it is going to be ruled a fumble. What's the ruling? It is a catch. And They say this is a game of emotions, and what emotions here. Caden Bennett will keep it. Looks for a seam. There goes Caden Bennett with a stiff arm. He is escorted out of it. And Bennett to pull the trigger again. Deep ball. That's Clayton, and a bit too high. Christian Shaw on the... Bennett over the middle, picked off. Here's the from a touchdown, and this one could go the distance instead of retreating. And he made the other way by Texas A&M Commerce Lions. Max Epps with his fourth. On second down, dangerous pass over the middle is converted, and a great second effort by the Lions gets him very close to the. Parrish will keep it, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M Commerce. That blocking you were talking about here. That was just perfect. left side did a nice job blocking. Keep it. So they go for the two point play. Parrish over the middle. That's picked off. The Hornets can read. Can he break free? Gets it out to the 30 yard line, but keeps the point. Let's see if they get themselves a field goal range. They'll try Tau Tolliver again. He runs to the right. They're going to rule him inbound. So they're going to use their final timeout because they've got it to the fifth. Putting this whole thing together. They roll out, senses the pressure. Now we'll try to find some throw late and lobs it to Coons, who caught it at the 30. Hornets have about five seconds left. Go three right, one left. Parrish over the middle, ball tipped. And it was caught by the Lions, but that was around three Hornets. Well short, run the offense again. We'll end around to Marcus Fulcher with some extra running room for Fulcher before he's pushed out of bounds. Bennett on a read play, gives to Maleni. Oh, and he goes airborne right at the first down marker. I think his forward progress is enough for a Hornet first. Person. Kept it going, trying to do the same thing here. Now guided by Thompson as the head coach as Bennett takes it off the right side. Bennett will find Fulcher. Fulcher carries a defender to the 10-yard line. The belief is, look, Cameron Scadaboo was all conference, all world, really. It's in motion as Bennett throws it out to Fulcher. Vulture will advance it towards the five-yard line. And he's... He'll give it to Fulcher. He's got a lane. He is in. Touchdown, Sacramento State. Right there, number 76. We go back. I'll put a line on it. Coach Richardson. And look, he's picking up his offensive lineman. And Schreiner now on for the extra point. And it's good. All is good right now for the regular season games. Parrish rolling out, looking downfield. Throw short, it is complete. But a short gain on this third down. They're going to run it. Good decision. It works for a first down. So Hornets, I'm sure we're thinking pass. They turn and give it a moment ago. Same formation, same results. And this is another chunk play, a gain of 13 yards. First down, another effective run by Reggie. Parrish on a read play, keeps it himself. Dances to the outsides, got a first down and more. And pushed out of bounds. Further down, Parrish. Hand off again, another nice run by Branch. So Coach Dolzell told us between Rucker, Hargrove, and Branch as Parrish. Has a running lane, will throw towards the end zone and knocked away. I don't know if they would have got that one in. Very tight space over there. Through the second half touchdown last week. To get out of the pocket and he gets away from the Hornet defense. Throws back over the middle, it's complete. But then a big hit down at the 10 yard line. Wanted to get to this program and is uh, one of their dangerous weapons. They'll hand off up the middle, dive. It's a first down for a tremendous job doing. Camp back to throw, backside pressure. Diving attempt, and it's at, is brought in by Carlos Hill. Hornets get some of the first play of the fourth quarter. Parrish looks downfield. Now tucks and runs. So we got a third down coming up. 17 to 6, added another score in the third. Here's a dump off to the flat. It's complete. And scooting up the sidelines for extra yards. 
Baltimore's have started and played other games, but Harris, the active leader as far as tackles go on this current roster. Here's a run. Nice play by Parrish. Gets a ton of yardage right up the. Parrish flushed out. Can't get out of the arms, and he'll lose the ball at the end of the play. City from Grass Valley. Would it coach wants some pressure at the line of scrimmage? Parrish flushed out. Parrish has got the first down. On second down, Elijah Tau Tolliver gets to the outside. Nice second effort, and he's got a Hornet. Under eight to play. They'll try Gable on a little end around, and he scoots through the first group, gets to that second level here in the fourth. It's all Hornets, camp to throw with time. And now he will dive forward. That would what Future can do. On first down, for the Lions to the outside, picking up some extra yardage, running from the near side of that game with 5 of 7 for 89 yards through a 65-yard touchdown. Some of the depth of that Hornet defense in. Magana flushed out and uh, tries to get the most out of it. Gets it down. This consultant played the role of a coach. Star born. Here's Gable with a nice run for the Hornets. I would just. First and 10 for the Hornets. Opener. Idaho had a great win today against Nevada. And they were a good team a year ago. So that's what's ahead for Sacramento State. As a camp with the keeper. And consecutive regular season games. That is impressive. They came out, they did what they had.